the funny thing is, is like people look at you and they go, man, you're just so casual. But like, you know, there's a million things going through your head at that time. You're like, oh my God, oh my God, please don't make this drop. Come on. Okay. I mean, oh my God, please come out. And then you like, come out. And it just looks like it was like nothing. But like in my mind, I was scared. Yeah. And I, I tell this to someone else the other day, I'm like, wherever I go and the reasons why I don't go to some places, cause I don't trust myself. Uh, I, I see a wave no matter how big and how perfect or how badass this wave is, I'm going to go. And really? Yeah. I just, it's just instinct. It's, you do some of the craziest shit I've ever seen in my li entire life. Yeah. Like and, and stuff that I didn't even understand. Like we were, who was I talking to? I was talking to someone. They were like, they were like, do you know that, that video, this play it was, oh, it was in, it was in your surf school. And you like, they're like, you know, that wave that he's riding, that's the shore break at YMA. Yeah. And I was like, huh? I didn't realize that's it. Shore break means that you're landing on sand sometimes. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. Waimea shore break. It's crazy. Dude, you're like, when you're like surfing Waimea Bay, because like, this is what usually happens. Everyone's paddling out at Waimea. It's 20 feet. It's Ko is paddling on his hardboard. Nate's paddling out. All the boys. Yeah. Every single one of our North Shore boys and people from all around the world. I'm like, well, I got my little 6'6 six, six catch surfboard. I'm like, <laughs> well, I'm going to go get some nuts ones in the shore break. Like, it's just like, they, they catch this 20 foot wave. And then by the time that 20 foot wave hits the shore break, it's 12 feet, but it's just, it's just so much power and just so much energy, <laughs> but I'm just looking for this one shot. It's like, it's looking in from the road. It's this beautiful YMA, uh, double up barrel shot where there's three lips in it. It's yeah. just going to eat you alive. But if you get this one photo, it's a photo that will last a lifetime. Dude, that how, like how, how often do you get hurt? Oh, hurt. I, I, you know, I, I think it's like this, you take calculated risk and, and yeah. most of the time we're very calculated and we're falling the correct way. And we're, we're, and sometimes we're just getting lucky, honestly. Yeah. You, know, you, you, you put yourself in harm's way so many times you're going to, something's, something bad's going to happen. If you're jumping on every single plane, tracking on every single swell, believe it, something's going to happen. And I'm kind of, I'm very happy that I'm like, you know, 39 and, and I, I've, you know, I've been, Broke both my legs serving pipeline. I've been knocked unconscious multiple times serving pipeline. Um, I almost broke, I almost felt like I broke my back last year. Like I have these things, but like in a span of, you know, 25 years of surfing, that's not that much. You yeah. Know? But if you're chasing it, your odds are getting higher and higher. And I don't have to always chase it now. I'll let the you Brahms chase it. <laughs>